Today's edition of Toggle's Daily Video Insights, a particular welcome to those of you who are joining us for the first time. We take a look at one of the insights generated by Toggle every single market morning, and we give you a sense of how to think about the price pressures and the drivers that Toggle is identifying every single day. The if you like these, if you'd like to see more of these, subscribe to our YouTube channel or also check us out on toggle.global where you'll also be able to actually test drive the system that we use, which is Toggle Copilot. Now, the focus today is going to be on Salesforce. CRM is the ticker. And what you're seeing here is that actually after a recent sell up here, there really have been quite a lot of different signals highlighting that there are price pressures potentially building for a move up in Salesforce. And they've been going across from earnings growth to sentiment all the way to just this recent one, which highlights that actually you are at a good entry point as well, um, emphasizing the fact that this price move down has generated in an oversold condition. Now, for anybody who doesn't know this, when you click on one of these insights, it shows you directly what the median expected target is for this particular driver. And also the red line signals the level where typically traders might place a stop loss level or at least review the position. Now, let's go and actually have a look at the most recent insight that was generated, which is the entry point. And so as you can see here, the toggle is now highlighting that Salesforce may well be oversold, that over 22 similar occasions in the past that it was able to analyze. This is the median bounce that it would have experienced. So from a starting point of 209.48, the bounce should be back to the recent high, which is 245.46. This is the confidence interval where you would hope the price to remain and certainly not to drop below 191.49. So the goal here really is to try and follow this and track and see whether or not it bounces back after the, the oversold condition. Now looking at the why it might move, it shows you these previous times when the one week price action was quite as, 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 as substantially negative as it has been currently. And you can see that typically, you really need to squint a little bit to see it, but typically these have really resulted in a bounce back up. Now looking at the back test, we'll show this more clearly, you can see that in many cases, the subsequent months saw returns in excess of 20%, in fact, sometimes as much as 40 to 60%, and the downside was 20%. So you're looking at about a three to one risk reward, and in particular, this is the cumulative return to investing a dollar in each one of these 22 past episodes, and you would have done very, very well indeed over this period of time. Um, Going back to the going back to the overview, one thing to one thing to emphasize is that uh, this is meant to be one piece of the puzzle, and you need to take a look and see how it fits with your fundamental view and other other considerations for the for the for the stock price. But this is the the latest the latest insight from from Toggle itself. In the daily brief, which if you subscribe should already be in your mailboxes by now, we also discuss the investment opportunities in the space industry, particularly satellites and launches and so on. So take a look. If you don't have it, you can again subscribe at toggle.global and it's all free. Thanks again for your attention and we'll see you again on Tuesday.